Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54 first round match between Coach Keith and a pretty rowdy Nurgle team. This looks pretty decent actually. Uh, kind of forgot about this team. Up against Ruzi with uh, Imperial Debility as the name of his team. It's the old birds that look a bit rubbish. And he's got a Wizard and Babe and a Bribe and an Apple. So loads of, loads of stuff but not a star right maybe he should have gone with a star the problem is like going with Gri griffy just get claw pond right and he's the best star and uh in the booth with me is Diddlequist. hello hello yeah i'm not uh sure uh who this coach keith is really i've uh, placed played them um once or twice in uh ladder i think uh, but we haven't seen too much of them in chalice previously um however rusi is a uh, chalice uh, regular um uh, but he is up against it here, uh, playing with shit burps against a shitty good Nurgle team. Yep. And swearing here again is like the third, the third match of Swellering here. Right? It's <laughs> in a row, in a row. Like, it's so weird. I don't think have three <laughs> matches with Swellering here in a row. Is he a muck looker? That is a good question. I mean, maybe. He's certainly got a rowdy Nurgle team. Like, this is pretty, pretty good. This is like really good Nurgle team, isn't it, right? It is, it is. Fantastic uh, warrior. Two fantastic warriors. Really good warrior. So three. And then another really good warrior. So four really good warriors. Claw Pommer and uh, a really good carrier. Yeah, two two full Claw Pommers with tackle. And yeah, really good carrier. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh no, it's an agility two carrier. <laughs> God, no, I forgot. Yes. <laughs> but he's got extra arms. <laughs> he probably so should have taken that, break yeah. tackle, right? He probably should have taken break tackle, but I guess it I guess he got injured after it he got the skill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's almost a really good <laughs> carry. Oh my god, Elliot must have been waiting so long to drop that. <laughs> 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 Years in the making. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, brutal, brutal snake on the GFI. Amazing, amazing. Banjo clan. Well, I haven't heard of Banjo clan either. <laughs> to be honest, but there you go. Yeah, no, I, I think people thought it was not. Yeah. Oh man, it means a good team, though, isn't it? It's a very good team. Really good warrior call. And then two full claw pommers. And nearly a good ball <laughs> Actually amazing, flip me. And really good, the snake, like, alleviates all the pressure right at the field. He gets to just claw palm and uh, spin all this shit. <laughs> really nice and even the push would have just kept it in the beast. <laughs> Actually like not following that right because of leaving the tackles on out in front, but I guess I guess he's stunned, but still this one could dodge out. I, yeah, I really like not following there. Oh, I guess this gives a friend to the beast next turn, yeah. It's a bit greedy, though. I mean, you need you need extra arms if, you, if you're going to be AV broken, but... <laughs> yeah, if he wasn't AV broken, I would have rather had... Well, I mean, but then you'd rather have two heads, right? So it just depends. AV, edge broken. Just depends. I mean, at this point, it's a, it's a bold centaur, right? Yeah. So, do you want the ball centaur to be your carrier? No. But you've taken. I mean, like I assume it got injured after the tackle. Was so, it just is what it is, isn't it? And I guess tackle is fine. I wouldn't have minded uh, two heads though, to be honest. Like I think I would have taken two heads over tackle. Even Injury like without, too. even without hedge two. Yeah, three players removed. All right. I mean, it's not that crazy, uh, Razzler. <laughs> Maybe you weren't here for the, the Norse game. <laughs> Three players removed uh, 
on, by, on turn three isn't uh, isn't not isn't anything to write home about, to be honest. No, not today. It isn't. Oh, can he hit him in the stand firm here? Oh, he can. Defend that. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, yes! Piling on the fen player to kill him, glorious, <laughs> glorious play. <laughs> oh, I actually love to see that. <laughs> yeah, Rusey. I mean, don't know if he's going to get much value out of this prime. I guess it was like there to, you know, hopefully discourage. Poms, but once he starts ripping your team to shreds, it doesn't do that, does it? Oh god, just wanting all of the. <laughs> oh no, it was, it was the dance. I thought he was wanting another Falcon. Yeah, nice Fen, mate. Where'd you get it? The shit Fen shop. <laughs> <laughs> A large stuff, there's, no, there's literally no uh, there's no correct way to play birds <laughs> if you're playing birds you've made a mistake <laughs> like that goes that goes for ducky too <laughs> wait he does the foul <laughs> he literally opened the cage and then did a foul <laughs> Is that we haven't seen? Uh, I thought we were we, we saw some rowdy plays earlier, but <laughs> is he gonna uphill the ball? Is he? No. He's gonna uphill the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six. G F I G F I. Oh man, that was amazing. Screw you and your bang of ways. That was glorious. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, inviting him in would have stopped his club from getting gang fouled, so it yeah. might have been the right play. <laughs> I was... <laughs> Maybe what he was thinking. Yeah. Enjoy your ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this stupid, stupid beast. Yeah. Not what you want. Oh wow. Oh no. Why did you do that? Cuz he, he he's got the stand firm here, but he didn't have anyone to put anyone else in. Oh, we'll just removes him anyway. Yeah, I don't understand the view, boy. No, he just wanted him to be there, didn't he, for some reason, but yeah, it was <laughs> Another Kaz, glorious. Yep. Apple comes in and kind of fails. Oh no, it does fail, it was a four. Yes, the apple fails completely, and now it's looking Look. pretty rubbish. Yeah, the ball sucks on maybe this turn. <laughs> He's got like four players left, mm -hmm. all, so it's not that on. As much as the ball's completely unprotected, basically. He's strength four and he's got four players. Oh my god, foul appearance. Boss. Oh my god. And again. <laughs> well, I don't want to say GG, Rishi, but, um, well, I do want to say it. <laughs> yeah, this is an insane amount of foul appearance. This is like a tabletop blood ball tournament. <laughs> 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 God, all of them in one blow. 
Banter. It's a 3D. This guy doesn't he put the guard in there and then him in here. Yep. Yep. Lovely. When do you wizard this game? Right about now. Well, oh, I would wizard. Uh, I would just save it for open ladder. Oh yeah, half of those nerdlings are Indian and standing now. <laughs> I mean, use it on your own drive to score, right? And then you run one, and then you're in overtime, and you've, you've maybe even the toss, but even then you're not going to win. You know, you know, maybe if you hadn't snaked instantly, and maybe if you got a bunch of people, maybe you could have wizarded early in the half. But maybe I mean it was so hard this match for Rusi. You know? The dice haven't helped. I'll turn it and hope the edge two go up. Yeah, but still a one nine pickup though. So. Nah, it's a, it, he picks it up eight times out. And like it's still nil nil, and you're still losing the second half. I guess it does give you a, like a one in nine chance to well, less than one in six. But it's. Uh, so what's that? 83? It's giving you like an 8% chance to win. Or maybe a 9% chance to win. Or a 9% chance to stop the score. Is that is that worth using 150 TV? Like maybe. Genuinely, maybe it might, it might be that might be the correct, the correct use. But I think you're going to need it to score on your own drive because you've got shit birds. <laughs> for some um, reason, you've made the one. Half a shit bird team. No. Yeah, for some reason, you've made one of the worst decisions you can make, which is choosing to <laughs> use a, a bird team. So you know he's got nothing to blame but himself, has he? You could have chosen a Nurgle team and come in with this. <laughs> but instead you've chosen a Burt team and you have this. Oh wow, what a look a dog. Coach Keith is as well. This guy guaranteed to be back for uh, the second half. Not impacting the one turn. But just guaranteeing him for the second half. I doubt there's going to be a one turn. Super difficult. Well, you would try. Like K Fog might be able to do it. But, um, it's really hard, isn't it? Move seven, match three. Um, foul appearance and stink. Another foul appearance. Oh man, <laughs> man, I really want to look. I really want to look at the uh, at the stats after the match. This is crazy. I bet he'll just make like a million pointless foul appearance successes in the second half. Mm. Just to make it look good. Mm. The stats. Yup. The peasants are free, aren't they? Wait, did you not foul that? That is super weird. I guess he didn't keep his bribe for the second half. And you just don't lose the bribes, right? Yeah, but again, it's like it's just getting the chance to foul, isn't it? That's the problem. Exactly. The problem is getting the chance to do it. I, I fall there all day. Yeah, probably. Like, it, it, it is cool having the foul for the second half. But I think if you're going to have such rare chances to foul, you probably just have to take them. Yeah, Beast is out. And, uh. This Blitz is out. Ten Burts. Versus eleven Nurgle. 
But he can Daka, can he? Is he going to spot that he's got that strength four on the bench? But yes, he has. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Just Daka, Daka, Daka. Use the whiz to break through. Win the toss and quick score. Like there is a chance. Like that's why I would save the wizard, I guess. But like. Is, is that is that the correct use of the wizard? Is it maybe using the nine percent chance to stop the drive was better? <laughs> oh my I god! <laughs> it doesn't look like a decker. No, I think it should have been though. Yeah, I think it should have definitely been a Daka. I mean, you just can't take the... You you can't fight that. Like, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, that, and that, again, that's why he should have fouled in, at the end of the first first yeah. half, right? Because he's not going to get the chance to foul you. Just, just Daka. Just Daka and go. It's not really getting the chance to do anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do a zero assist foul. But at least I've saved my... At least I've saved my bride. Like, that's, it's just not good enough as it is. Daka was the player. Yeah, I mean, but it didn't need to, like, it couldn't have ended. It was unlikely to end well, wasn't it? Like, I know this ended poorly and, like, he could have had a better turn than this, but... Oh, wow. He's unli it's unlikely to end well. It's really unlikely for just fighting these. These strength four foul appearance guys, like he's, it's just unlikely to be good. Whereas the you know, and the duck is not good, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, like his his peasants are awful being edge to. But he has got a fair amount of dodge. And if he was, you know, gonna rely on the whiz to, to crack the Dakar. Could have gone for it. I like not going for the hit. Like even though it is seventy-five percent to make a dodge off, he hasn't got tackle or anything. I think just getting the core bomb hit is better. Oh! Kill the claw bomb. Save the world. Diced. Fouling with a fouling with a blitzer. Let's go. Oh wow, that's a great sound effect. I've never I've never noticed just how much that the blitzer laughs when he fouls. That's a, that was amazing. Oh, it's actually amazing. Wow. Man, I want to make a Burt Blitzer Fowler now. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Might not have ever heard it before, even. Holy shit. Like, people don't often foul with Burt Blitzer, do they? A little bit sad that I didn't hear the... <laughs> oh, it's so good. You'll have, you'll have to watch the VOD, Dave. Honestly, it, it was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do generally have great sound effects. Like, but yeah, I've never yeah. heard. I've never heard the Blitz of Fire. I must never have heard it. At least not with headphones on. It's so good. Can only hope to have them frequently as important. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is the winner's try. <laughs> yeah, hope your opponent's a moron who fouls you with his blitzers. <laughs> I mean, not calling, not calling. No, this is pretty much over, right? Yeah, so Ruzi and Moron. Like, plus, he had, the, he had the bribe, right? And it was, what else can he do? So, like, it was yeah. completely fine.
Uh, probably the play here, right, was to try and surf the strength four. He could have, uh, this guy could have dodged out, hit him, chained him onto him to there, right, and then tried to surf him. Oh no, but he already used his blitz. Would that work? Dodge there, blitz him. Chain him to there, and then ball runs all the way around, right? That's how you do it. Yeah, I think that was the play. I like genuinely, I think it was the play because it gets the ball carrier out and around. Hmm. Do you see what I mean, Daedal? I'm not really paying attention, so no. Okay, well, hopefully, people, hopefully people watching can understand anyway. Dodge out here, blitz this guy, push him into the the player who was there, right? This, this pesticle was there, push him to there, and then run around. It was brilliant. Thanks, Razzle. <laughs> right, good. Good. And you got Dormus as well, right? So, brilliant. But instead he didn't do that, and he did this instead, and he, he failed, and he's lost. Hello, Mongolian, thank you for the raid. Glorious. Uh, I've got no idea how your chalice game went, despite covering it today. Because <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> this was the eighth one, and they've all they've all they've all <laughs> blurred into 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 nothingness. To be honest, <laughs> flip me. But, I mean, that, that was a good play by Coach Keith, wasn't it? Kept, uh, kept, kept everything in front of him, you know, didn't, didn't, didn't space cadet himself, right? He just, he just kept it all locked down. Didn't, didn't over pursue anything. Just played it totally safe. Dominated. Yep. Really nice. Really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got the chores. Yeah, great effort. The first half was incredible, yeah. Oh yeah, that was really good. Uh, yeah. I mean, and teams, and teams, Mongo. Like yeah, that was the biggest thing, right? The biggest thing was his team just being so much better. Oh. Well, the wizards come, but not much to react to. But a bit to react to. This is a pretty cool wizard from Rosie. Uh, the only thing that came. Oops. However, I still think he is oh shit quick. Like this isn't really using the wizard to score on your own drive, is it? This is <laughs> This is using the wizard in your own drive to try and salvage the some anything from it. <laughs> he just... I liked the, uh, I liked Wizard a bit earlier, Mongo, and that was probably the only thing that I can remember <laughs> from that game was, uh, I think I would have liked the Wizard. But you know the turn we had the 3 plus to hit the ball? 3 plus to 2D the ball with a break tackler? I think I would have just either fireballed or bolted that turn to, like, consolidate it, right? This is a little bit dumb. It's funny, I think Nurgle are like the best team at like locking down results when they're like big favourites. Like, I know it sounds a bit stupid because what else can just go on in touchdowns. But like, you know, of the bash team, I guess. Because like, you know, you've got all of that stink so like the passing players are a bit worse. And then even fighting back against them is harder because of the foul appearance and they're just they're really, really strong. Yeah, exactly, Tucky, exactly. I would never criticize people for like trying those kind of plays to get lucky, like even even the fireball in the other game, right, against a large thud, like that, that wasn't that bad, was it? You know, it wasn't I didn't think of using it, but actually that was that was maybe correct. 
Not, not only was it not shit, <laughs> I think most people's reaction would be, that's shit. And then... Actually, maybe it wasn't, like, you know, there wasn't, there was, who, you know, it's hard to say, isn't it? It's really hard to say, because obviously there might have been a really good chance to use it later. Or, and it would have made him play differently for the rest of the half and stuff, so like, there, there are, it's just really hard to say, isn't it? Until we get Blood Bowl Stockfish, which, which, you know, could happen, right? We don't know, we don't know, because like, when you look at that, that, you know, that, uh, Photoshop thing now, what is it, Generative Fill or whatever, like, that's amazing, isn't it? And like, you wouldn't have thought that would have come out, like, ten years ago, so, who knows, in like, another ten years, there might be like, insane breakthroughs in like, uh, AI stuff, and... There might be like, you know, it might be easy to make like something as, as good as, you know, something really good, right, could happen. You, you never know, do you? You never know. You never know. You never know. But it would, totally it would need like kind of crazy leaps in technology, wouldn't it? Because no one's going to spend any amount of money making a Blood Bowl AI. <laughs> so it would have to, like the technology would have to advance to such a point where a dude in his in his basement could do it. <laughs> and then somebody will on Fumble. Basically. But God knows Cyanide aren't going to, or anybody else. I lost to a Blood Bowl 1 AI. <laughs> But I mean, it was it wasn't a good AI. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> but at least it tr at least it did things to score, right? Like that was the big thing. It did. It was to uh, score. the best week. Yeah, it was. It was pretty funny. But like you know, the the, the Blood Bowl two and three, I wouldn't even try the things that it tried to win. So I. But it was. I mean, it was still terrible, right? It was, it was still absolutely terrible play from the yeah. AI. Just it was just good enough to beat me. <laughs> there you go. Um, but commiserations, Rosie. I mean, not a lot he could do, right? His team was rubbish. He only made one AV break. Like, he, again, I can't really criticise him for the for the uh, for the bribe because you know he had to get lucky. So uh, he thought maybe it could discourage the pawns, and you know he got super unlucky with that snake on turn one. It could have the whole game could have gone different if he'd got pressure on instead of just uh, yeah. getting wrecked. And uh, yeah, Coach Keith wasn't it? Was the uh, was the Nurgle? So congratulations to him. And oh my God, foul appearance was, was a three plus, <laughs> not a two plus. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was rough. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See. Yeah, con congrats to him. Anyway, yeah, well, well done, Coach Keith. And uh, thank you very much, Dadel. Glorious having you in the booth. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. I love being here. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.